nothing in the shootout. Dylan Weber on the draw for Danbury. Martin Delugolinski for El for rather for New England, and we're underway. New England in their road black uniforms with the Kelly green and yellow trim. They'll go from left to right on your screens at home. No icing on this play as it's stopped by Alex Fernandez behind his own cage. Fernandez getting the spot start in favor of Shane O'Brien, who is out with an illness. The team hopes to have O'Brien back in goal for tomorrow. In the neutral zone, it'll be sent back down by Nate Mastroni. Behind his own net, it's Patrick Gribben. Pass in front, nobody home for the Colonials as off the bench is Colby Donovan. He gets canceled out into the boards. And then from the neutral zone, Ryan Wojciechowski softly on goal and Gribben will leave it to the side for Nick Fur and the puck comes back down into the New England zone. You see where the success will lie with the Knights offense is their cycle game. They go from goal line up towards the boards area and then look for a direct shot coming around the outside of the circles there. So they're gonna see a lot of shots from either sides of the post for Fernandez, so he'll be tested low. A long shot from the blue line goes screaming high and wide over the cage and picked up by Kevin Remsen, sent back down deep. Gribben gives a shove to the puck behind the net. It comes out to the near side and cleared out of the zone by Ferrucci. Wojciechowski is there first. He gets it out of the zone, goes through the legs of Palameke. Palameke on the follow-up, managed to separate the puck off the stick of Kyle Madigan. In the neutral zone, this is Lefkoff. He'll loft one into the far corner. Danbury once again in the middle of a change, and so it'll be Cody Porcello. A long pass intended up ahead for uh, Levi Kervinen. Kervinen unable to get control of the puck. Now it's Misha Mishar going far side for Nate Mastroni. Mastroni one-on-one -on -one in the zone. That's punched aside by Gribben off the stick of Willis. His shot is so, so quick, and Damery does have to be careful. He's already had a really good shift in this game. Here's Shulman chipping it up ahead for Devon Butler. Now Reed. D to D across for Shulman. That one goes off the stick of Butler. Behind the net. Pair of players battling for it. Colby Donovan comes in to help out. Now here's Keola clearing it as far as the red line. Butler again, this time for Burham. Max Burham trying to dipsy doodle his way through a few players at the Danbury blue line, shut off, and Lefkoff will send it back down deep. Just about six minutes gone by here in the first period, only three. Come out and then make the big body save. Very impressive in the early moments in this first period. Body saves the right way to put it. That was pure desperation. He lost his stick on the play as well. But it is impressive too to see how confident he was in making that save. Sometimes you see when goaltenders lose their stick, they almost get kind of fidgety and, and jerky. And he did not look like he was phased by that as all. Really nice job in the paint. And I will tell you this, Zach, both goaltenders Coming into the game, not necessarily the greatest statistics that jump out to you. This is big, confident game for both of them. The first game here in this weekend. Another save by Gribben. Puck still in the zone as that shot gets launched wide off the stick of Dylan Weber. Weber once again holds it at the blue line. Good job. That goes off the helmet of Andrew pa Palmeter. That doesn't feel good. Palmeter, none worse to wear. We'll flip it up the boards. He finds uh, Kervinen. Kiervinen up ahead for Delugolinski. Delugolinski caught from behind by Lefkoff. It's turned over. Yeah, it just took too much time with the puck. You have to make a decision a little bit quicker there. Lefkoff was able to catch up with him. Here's Nate Mastroni by himself. His shot gets deflected behind the cage. Swung around, reversed by Moore. But how about the fact of where they're sitting in the standings and what they need to do? They might be a little bit hungrier than Elmira. Elmira kind of content with where they are in the standings in the Northeast Division. And Danbury just took it to him last week. And this might be a different animal. Those games are going to be a lot harder to win than last week. And obviously every weekend's a challenge. But this weekend in particular, the Knights know that they have to come up with some points to make sure that they hold on to their playoff spot. Well, that's a good point because they are one point ahead of the Maine Wild in the standings. But Maine has three games in hand yeah. on New England. And, well, we're getting closer to the end of the season than the beginning. So... The Knights in need of some points. Danbury in need of some confidence as they certainly enjoyed the two victories they had over Elmira. 
Here's Chase Lapworth into the zone. Dropped off, this shot gloved by Fernandez, and a faceoff will be to Situations you can't take anything for granted. Danbury rode those strange goals to victory. Yeah, you know, Wojciechowski's goal, he scores from his own blue line, but that kind of got Danbury's uh, confidence back. You know, it, it got him really back into the game. Absolutely. It was kind of the turning point in the series, if you will, Zach, when Wojciechowski found it from behind the red line. I mean, it was a it was a half-court heave that he, he connected on. It was kind of strange. Everyone kind of looked around saying, did that really go in? And yes, in fact, it did. Stephen Curry, eat your heart out. Kept alive at the blue line by Lefkoff. He'll stay on the puck, doing battle. Still looking to get control of the puck. That's Sean Reed for New England, who's doing work. Reed has the puck in his skates, kicks it up, and now he'll have a moment to think things over. Stops behind his net. Nate Mastroni is there. Mastroni takes it off of his stick, but in support is Ryan Morrison. Flipped up high through the neutral zone. That goes off the top of the board, stays in play. Failing... His stick, or rather having his stick fail him, was Cole Madsey as he spikes it back into his own end. Brady Hill gives a go. This one will get sent out once again. This time it goes out of play. Of their penalties, not a bad number. You'd like to see, uh, you'd like to see it a little bit higher. Meanwhile, the New England Knights, they convert on 16.3% of their power plays. That is 30th out of the 34-team NA3HL. Fanning on the shot in the slot was Lapworth. Stepping in from the point is Delugalinski. Sent in front, and it pops into the near side corner. Back at the point again, this is Burham. Chipped along. Delugalinski sends it down low over the stick of Lapworth. Lefkoff trying to get a handle on it. He has a pair of knights who he needs to deal with. Turned over, McEnany's able to clear. 40 seconds gone by on the power play. Well, that's what you like to Speed out the icing call. McEnany sent in front and unable to take the shot was Wojciechowski. Coming back the other way is Burham. Max Burham chips it along. It goes through everybody. Madigan sends it behind the cage. Lefkoff will look to clear. Instead, he's met once again by Burham. Lefkoff again. Over to stick of Wojciechowski, it finds McEnany. McEnany gets around, no, can't get around uh, Tyler Pimentel. Kept alive. Shot from the point into the glove of Fernandez. He'll hold on. And Jack, I'm sorry, I know. Wojciechowski was unable to handle that one, but again, a really great pass after the hustle play from McEnany. You know what? We've got a rental Zamboni right now. Yeah. Clearly, that was the issue there. <laughs> Everybody coming together behind the net. It's chipped up. Murphy has it knocked off of his stick. Take two. This is Nolan Murphy. Lefkoff at the blue line. Sends one wide. Misha Mashar will chase down the rebound. Now looking to do something with it. Swings one on goal. Gribben makes the save. Sent in front once again. It goes back up to the point. Wojciechowski a drive. That one he got all of. But it was blocked by Morrison. In the corner it's Willis. Now Morrison. Shoveled along. And out of the zone by Reed. Lapworth. Met at the blue line, lost possession of the puck. Lefkoff will swing it on back. Danbury again has to be careful. You know, Jack, that's the second or third time now we've seen Danbury playing with the puck in front of their bench in the middle of a line change. Yeah, a little lackadaisical too. Guys hopping over the boards a little bit slower than you would like. You just have to be. Three minutes exactly left on the clock. And so Danbury's number two power play in the league, they convert on 41.9% of their opportunities. That is fantastic. They'll have to begin from the neutral zone though, as good work by Max Burham will send it all, all the way down. McEnany will pick up the puck from Fernandez. Up ahead, battling through is Lefkoff. Lefkoff goes far side for Brandon Cope. Cope stops, looks for an option. Didn't see anything that he liked, so he swung it around behind the cage. Donovan is there, gives to Weber. Now Dylan Weber. A little in front of Cope. Cope will again send it behind the cage. Donovan again will pick it up. This time he's met by Pimentel. Donovan for Cope. Cope a shot, saved by Gribben. The rebound into the slot. McEnany goes back up at the point. Left Cope a shot, never made its way through. Left Cope again at the blue line, keeps it alive. Cope. Has an option in McEnany. Gives to him. Snapshot on goal. Say the rebound Donovan sends high and wide. Well, a couple good rebound chances there for Danbury. They still have possession of the puck. 
Now Donovan, knocked down from behind, back up to his skates, manages to maintain possession. Again from his knees, this time he gives it along for Weber. Weber goes for Cope, Cope dummies it along for Lefkoff. Lefkoff off the boards, Cope couldn't control it. Lefkoff kept it alive, and he'll get the whistle for the off. About the save on the back end for Fernandez. Misha Mishar, his shot punched aside by Gribben with under a minute to go in the period. Sent over to the far side, Lefkoff does not hold the blue line. He'll collect that in the referee's crease and give a cross for Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski, a bad turnover. Here's Nolan Murphy going the other way. Murphy on his backhand, swings one in front, saved by Fernandez. Unable to get anything on it was Jake Willis. Yeah, Willis has had a wide open cage there. He just couldn't handle it on the backhand. Very tough for him to handle. Easy save for Fernandez to make, even though he was out of position. If Willis gets any height on that backhand, New England has themselves a goal as Fernandez was doing the splits on the middle of the ice. Back in the neutral zone, it's Wojciechowski. Ten seconds to go in the period. McNenny, he'll send one into the glove of Gribben. Gribben will hold on. 3.9. I would expect him to try and send this right on goal. He is tied up by Chase Lapworth. Good defensive play by New England center. Home white uniforms with the orange and gray trim. They'll go from left to right on your screens at home here in the second period. Thank you again, folks, for tuning on in. I'm Zach McGinnis, joined alongside Jack O'Mara. And, you know, in that first period, both teams had their opportunities. Coming up big was Patrick Gribben for the New England Knights. In the Zamboni corner, a pair of players make that five, battling for the puck. It gets sent up the near side wall, unable to clear the puck were the Colonials. Now Weber chips one off the glass, gets as far as the neutral zone. In the neutral zone, Ryan Wojciechowski stepping up. And Jack, you know, I, I'm seeing a different game out of Ryan Wojciechowski. He's really gotten involved offensively, especially these last few weeks. Absolutely. I think that his game is, is growing as we see each week in, week out. He just is more comfortable with getting involved. Any the other way. McEnany's pass too far for Brandon Cope to handle. Reed will get there first. He sends one off the boards out of the zone where it's collected by Kevin Remsen. Remsen from the neutral zone, and that's punched aside by Gribben. Boy, the Danbury's confidence on those long-range shots seems to be growing by the game. Absolutely. They love to just fire it on in there. Now a puck is somewhere underneath Kyle <laughs> McEnany. There's the whistle. Boy, that They're just missing those last-second opportunities. Off the draw, it's controlled by the Colonials as Wojciechowski on a D-to-D -D pass, gets it down deep. Weber, he finds Palameke in front, and Palameke sends one. Offensive zone has been very, very crisp and clean, and they're finding the right people, and they're getting the right shots on goal. Danbury controls off the offensive zone faceoff. It's Misha Mishar. Mishar goes back up at the point. Lefkoff easily on goal. Gribben diving on out, gets it out of danger. Weber keeps it alive again. Palameke took out a knight from behind. That was Andrew Palmeter. Palmeter is still down on all fours. And the referee allows play to go on. Knights are able to clear. Palmeter, or check that. That's actually Cody Porcello who is limping his way back to the bench. Danbury is McEnany. Two on two into the zone. McEnany tries going inside out on the defenseman, Sean Reed. Now sent in front. Blade, let's see if they've got the hardware to yeah. get Willis back on the ice. Meanwhile, back down in the offensive zone, it's Connor Lefkoff off another faceoff victory by the Colonials. Lefkoff gives a long Copa shot. That one was just got enough of by Gribben. Now knocked off the stick of Lefkoff, and Max Burham will chase after it. Boy, Burham's got stamina for days. Seems like the puck just follows him around. Lefkoff setting up on the far side. Leaves it for McEnany. Down low Donovan. Donovan's shot is blocked. Good stand-up block by the New England defenseman. But he's unable to clear his Pimentel. Now it's Weber picking up a nifty little pass. Given back Cope. Cope a drive. Saved by Gribben. Donovan with it. Donovan in the corner, 40 seconds remains on the power play. Goes back to Cope. Cope swings it for McEnany. McEnany tries one too many passes. It's turned over, cleared all the way down by Butler. Yeah, the problem there was McEnany was just a little bit too deep to the net, couldn't get the shot away, had to just kind of go with the momentum of the puck, tried the behind the back spin pass, and there's, I'll give you what, uh, 
the Knights have done a very good job at clogging that interior lane around their goaltender on, on the penalty kill, and, and they've done a really good job at eliminating second chance opportunities. And once that pass comes through, they're blocking shots and, and doing a good job at just making sure nothing comes of it. McEnany fans on a bouncing puck on the side of the net. Shot initially came from Brandon Cope. Penalty has expired, and we remain knotted at Clogging the lane, getting a shot in, maybe a deflection up front, something like that, or just move the puck quick enough where you get the goaltender out of position. Here's Weber behind the cage. Puck on his backhand, gives to Lefkoff. Lefkoff back for Cope. Cope, a bouncing shot, ends up wide. Now Lefkoff again. Lefkoff. Wants to give to McEnany, he does. Kyle McEnany back for Lefkoff. Lefkoff shot, gets deflected wide again. Elma or check that, New England doing a good job of clogging up the slot. McEnany, Cope. Now McEnany again. His pass off the stick of Donovan. Lefkoff a shot, that's blocked as well and cleared out of the zone. Yeah, how about that effort right there? What an absolute shot block by Pimentel. He just lays out, takes one for the team there in a... Good shooting lane for a left off, and that's exactly what you want your players to do on a penalty kill against a good shooting team is get in front of those shooting lanes. Well, New England's doing a great job of that. Three block shots already on this penalty kill. Here's McEnany across for left off. In front, deflected by Weber, but another great save by Patrick Gribben. See if he tries to send this on goal or try and, and win it back. He does win it forward, but it's quickly taken off of his stick by Pimentel. Two seconds and one. We are back to five-a-side hockey. As Danbury looking for an icing call, they won't get it. So Connor Lefkoff settles his puck down behind the net of Alex Fernandez. Fernandez has only seen two shots so far this period. McEnany met at the red line by Kiervinen. Now Donovan from the blue line. That shot is blocked as well. Let's get the New England Knights some ice bags for the way they're getting in the way of these yeah. shots. Here is Sean Reed. Sent along, Cope sees the puck go over his stick and out of the zone. Picked up in the neutral zone. Knights two on one, now make it two on two as this shot off the stick of uh, Thomas Hayden is saved by Fernandez. Kiervinen on the third opportunity, finally gets it back down deep. Chasing after this is Thomas Hayden. But getting there first is Delugalinski. Lugolinski goes back up to the point. It's Pimentel. His shot goes over the net. Fernandez actually jumped in the air trying to grab it. Almost like a shortstop yeah. seeing one going off into left field. Loose puck ends up on the stick of Colby Donovan. He'll send one off the glass. Chasing after it is Brandon Cope, and Cope will negate the icing call. Cope sends one in front. Nobody home. Mastroni off the bench has the puck bounce up on him, and he sends it high. That's and especially Wesley Westendorf, they like mucking it up. And, yeah. well, just the way this game's going, you kind of get the sense it's going to be one of those goals as Westendorf gets belted behind the net. He's back up to his skates as the Knights are able to clear. Sent over far side, gaining speed, it's Jake Willis with a new skate. Willis tries going five-hole, saved by Fernandez. The net's well off of its moorings. There's the whistle. And the net means that play will stay in the defensive zone. It stays in the defensive zone and Danbury unable to change. No matter as it's Kyle McEnany drawing a penalty so the whistle and now Dan time forcing good shots then they started to get penalty happy and being a man down is not going to help your grow your offensive game at all. It's leading scorer Nolan Murphy in the box for New England as Danbury goes back to work on the power play. Donovan swings down low for Cope. Cope off the boards for McEnany. McEnany at the blue line. His shot deflected in front, and it just trickles wide. Yeah, Gribben didn't see it. McEnany couldn't hold the blue line. Gives back to Lefkoff. Pass was a bit outside, and so Lefkoff has to go back and retreat. Max Burham, no surprise, on the penalty kill, giving Lefkoff some trouble, but Lefkoff will leave it behind his own cage. Now Kyle McEnany fakes the pass one way, goes that way, gets it back from Lefkoff. McEnany at the red line. Dumping the puck down deep. McEnany got hit up high. He's injured on the play. Now making his way back up to his skates. Donovan, meanwhile, keeps it alive in the offensive zone before it's swiped off of his stick. And McEnany, hunched over, will go back to the bench. Yeah, he got a stick jarred right into the mix section. 
And that's why he took a tumble right away. That does not feel good. No, not exactly what the doctor ordered. Here's left call from the point. Shot is blocked. Up ahead with it now. Trying to get something going is Butler. Butler caught from behind. Boy, Butler and Burham Man. have been fantastic on the penalty kill. Both of them so active, and that's exactly what you want when you have a threat like Butler who can just turn on the other way, blocks a shot, and then just uses his speed. Eventually, Madzi and Lefkoff do enough to come back down together and make a stop, but that's one way to kill off some penalty time is to say, hey, let's take the puck back the other way and get a shorthanded opportunity. Well, this has been a better kill for, and leaves it behind his cage for Reed. Now sent over far side, turned over. Donovan tries dipsy doodling his Ooh. way through a few defensemen, and then Gribben, his clearing attempt knocked down by Brady Hill, but Hill unable to do anything with it. We call that a chance card and monopoly right there. Gribben just absolutely standing straight up with a couple of attackers barreling down on him, plays a puck with his stick. I was always more a fan of the community chest ones, but either way, Fernandez behind the net gives to Connor Lefkoff. Lefkoff through the neutral zone intended for Ryan Kaola. Kaola still battling on the four check. Sean Reed has possession of the puck and Reed will swing it around far side. I think community chess just sounds better. I think it's statistically you have the same chance of winning money versus losing money on both. All I know is I've never had a bank error in my favor. Uh. <laughs> Especially where you get to keep the money. Under three to go now in the second period. Here's a Levi Kirvinen. Kirvinen dancing his way through the neutral zone into Danbury's end. Kirvinen still with the puck. He gets taken down, goes into the corner. Looks to be a little shaken up, but he's better. Back up to his skates. At the point, sent in on goal. Ryan Morrison shot handled by Fernandez, and then a wraparound opportunity by Kirvinen goes off the side of the cage. There was daylight. Yeah, Kirvinen's shot is actually saved by the side of the cage. That's a goal if another, it doesn't. Another shot by Kirvinen, another save by Fernandez. New England threatening. At the point, it's Morrison a shot into the C on the center. When you see zeros on the scoreboard, you would imagine, but both of them making sharp saves, making strong saves. The rebounds have, have been there, but their defenders are doing enough to eliminate those chances. Mastroni sent in front, Remsen couldn't get a control of the rebound, and then Remsen in the second period. Remsen stays out on the ice. He took a shot up high last weekend. Was worried that he broke his nose. Here is Jake Willis. Willis on a two on one, he scores! Point five to go on the clock. To find a goal, that's a great way to go into the locker room knowing you have the lead. You get the momentum as Jake Willis records his 13th side. Jack O'Mara. Shots are 22-18 in favor of the Knights. And Jack, what does Danbury have to do different in the third period? Here? I think you need to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. You have to get guys in your shooting lanes. And when I mean guys, I mean players in white and orange jerseys. You need to get some deflections in front because... Gribben has not been challenged in that regard. You need to get some second chance opportunities. Backhand shot by Mastroni is saved. Now another shot by Mastroni goes over the top of the net as Patrick Gribben's busy doing snow angels in front. Gribben has lost his stick as it skitters on out into the near side faceoff dot. Gribben still without his stick. New England unable to clear, looking for a hooking call. There's none coming. Now Mastroni behind the net. He's met by Burham. Westendorf thinking all hit. Manages to separate the New England player from the puck. Knight still looking to clear. This time it's Lefkoff keeping alive. Connor Lefkoff for Mastroni a shot. Save the rebound and Lefkoff sends it off the side of the net. It might have hit the post. Well, Pometer does enough there just to force him off and, and that's why the puck hits the outside of the post. Couldn't get the shot away. Now another pass in front off the stick of Mastroni and Westendorf saw it go over his backhand. Finally, the Knights are able to clear through the neutral zone, it's Chase Lapworth. Lapworth had his pass go through everybody, goes off the near side wall, but kept alive. Here's Fernandez helping it along, Mastroni. At the end of his shift, just looking to get the puck out of the zone, unable to do so. Kept alive by Willis. Now along the wall, it's Murphy for Willis. Willis a shot, and that one went through Fernandez, but off the side of the cage. 
Now another shot from the blue line is blocked. Here comes Nate Mastroni. Mastroni racing back is Sean Reed. Mastroni a shot. Skittered across this uh, you know, three plus forward line unit. And I like it because it, it creates some unnervedness because a goal can come at any time. You can see a goal from four lines. And you see head coach Kevin Cunningham. He's trying to keep his shifts shorter yep. than they were. As this will be Weber coming out from behind his own cage. Pass goes behind the back of Mishar and it's collected by Palmeter. Off the stick of Butler and from the red line, left Koff will send it back down deep. Puck on its edge, rolls all the way around, nearly out of the zone. A little help by the Knights defense gets it there. Sent back in on goal, Gribben will leave it along for Palmeter again. Turned over, here's Mastroni. Mishar as well. Mishar a shot kicked aside by Gribben. And then getting upended on the play is Dylan Weber. Weber is hurt. He's trying to get back up to his skates. Play continues. Stepping in from the point was Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski again from the blue line. Now Weber back up on his skates. Tries deflecting that shot. Amazing how hockey oh. players always get a little bit healthier when the puck's around them. Weber oh. hunched over will get back to... The bench, Nate Mastroni offsides. There's a whip. Tried to stick handle his way around for Rucci. Got separated from the puck, regained it, sent it on goal, but Gribben sends it aside. So you see again, you mentioned the short shifts for Danbury. Just very, very quickly, not a lot of time on the ice. This is Nolan Murphy chasing down a loose puck in the corner. He's met by Lefkoff, can't get possession of the puck. Here's Westendorf at the end of his shift. Westendorf gets around one, gets around two, dumps it off and goes off for a change. Behind his own cage, Palmeter. That pass goes through everybody. Fernandez looking for an icing call. It's not going to come. Here's Brendan Thomas Hayden. Thomas Hayden lost possession of the puck behind the cage. In the neutral zone now at the red line, it's Palmeter again. Boy, Palmeter has been out there a long yeah. time here in the third period. Brady Hill. Now DeLugalinski. DeLugalinski has it knocked off of his stick. Chipped up ahead by McEnany. McEnany beaten to the puck by Paul Meter. Oh, he's been out there a while. Why not? He's playing well. Mm -hmm. This pass to nobody in particular goes off the boards. Icing will be called. And with 13.40 to go in regular. Shots head on. He's, been, he's made all the saves that he's needed to tonight. It, it's getting bodies down there for Danbury right now will be the difference maker. So the Knights are doing a really good job of keeping bodies out of the zone. Here are the Knights offensively taking a shot high and wide was Max Burham. That clears the zone. Goes all the way back to the New England blue line. Now turned over in the neutral zone. Mashar gets it in. Mashar was, well, rather. We go with any one of our goaltenders. Yeah, Ron Karate has 17 decisions to his name. And then Stephen Barry as well. Barry was actually dressed for warm-ups for the Knights. And then, well, after that, hits the showers. You can only dress two goalies. Well, that's the same thing that the Colonials did. They had Shane O'Brien dressed for warm-ups. He went back. He is now in a suit and tie up in our premium suites, just taking the game in, likely the player tomorrow. Morning ice tomorrow. Oh. Off the draw, a clean win by Donovan. It's left off at the point. His shot saved by Gribben. He holds on to the re you. And Donovan certainly has the hand-eye yeah. to deflect that puck where he wants it. Over eight minutes gone by. Another shot from the point. It's loose in front of the cage. Somehow Gribben makes the stop. Where is it? Everybody's digging at it. There's the whistle. Exclamation, an explanation from the linesman there just to see if he got a better look at the, the opportunity that the Colonials had in front. Well, that's because after the whistle and the net was knocked off, the puck actually ended up in the back yeah. of the cage. But either way, we stay one nothing with 11.18 to go in regulation time. Here's Lefkoff, quickly up ahead for Cope. Cope was looking for the tic-tac-toe on the pass. Lefkoff again, this time he cancels out Madigan. Lefkoff tries pick, kicking it up to his skates, he does. Off the boards, intended for Cope. Remsen still battling. Tyler Pimentel. I mean, good job making sure that puck doesn't go into the New England end. Finally, he's defeated. Gribben's there to make another good save. McEnany, not the biggest of players, officially listed at 5'9", 150. When you're not the bigger players, you have to be fast, you have to be skilled. Kyle McEnany checks the boxes as he and Lefkoff. 
the defenseman for Danbury. Off the draw, loose puck, picked up by Wojciechowski and sent down deep. Mastroni will chase after this. Getting there first is Ferrucci. He reverses course for Sean Reed. Reed forces one up the wall, kept alive by Wojciechowski. Tried getting it deep, it's knocked out of midair by Chase Lapworth. Now Lapworth, knocked off of his stick. Turning around with this is Willis. The lone goal scorer in this game. Willis gives a cross for Lapworth. Nap Lapworth is neatly stripped of the puck. Left call, up for Cope. Cope tried going back to his forehand. Reed gets in the way. Neatly taken by Ferrucci. Along for Willis. Now Ferrucci again. Ferrucci, a defenseman, at the end of his shift, he gets spun around. Willis picks up the loose puck behind the goal line. Sends one in front. Knocked away, but not out of the zone as Burham holds the line. Max Burham still working on it. Avoids a check from Lefkoff. Now Burham on the doorstep, saved by Fernandez. And after one, two. Green and yellow and the penalty kill. Danbury's got to find a way to score here if they want to make anything happen. Here's Lefkoff with a shot. Didn't miss by much. McEnany picks it up at the blue line. Gives along for Cope. Now Donovan sends one wide. Cope, a bad angle, goes behind the net. Lefkoff, McEnany manning the blue line. It's Donovan, Cope, and Weber up front for the orange and white. Cope reverses back Weber. New England a bit more aggressive on their penalty kill. Weber, a bit handcuffed, goes behind the net. Donovan leaves it for McEnany. McEnany now looking for a room. Cope, Lefkoff. Lefkoff a drive. Where is it? It's loose somewhere in the blue paint, and now it trickles wide. Again, the Knights able to just force it out wide. Cope, that shot is blocked. Donovan picks it up in his skates. He finds Lefkoff. Lefkoff on goal. Deflected save by Gribben, and he holds on. Kyle Mack coming in to take the face off. Off the draw. It's McEnany. He sends one through the slot. Nobody was ready for it. Now Weber motoring behind the cage. McEnany from a sharp angle. Saved by Gribben. Cleared, but not out of the zone. Good job by Lefkoff holding the blue line. McEnany had some trouble corralling the pass from Cope. Lefkoff. One knee on the ice, keeps it alive. Now Copa shot, saved by Gribben. It knocks a stick out of his hands. Another save by Patrick Gribben. Shades of flurry. Now Cope again. Gribben with a defenseman stick. McEnany. Sends over Lefkoff. Lefkoff winds and fires. He scores! Deflect. Had the momentum going into the locker room. Started off the third period. It was all Colonials. They get the power play opportunity. And now you start to see, hey, unless they're breaking away on an odd man rush, it's pretty much the Colonials holding possession time. Now they're holding possession time. They've done a good job of keeping New England out of their zone as the Knights have only recorded five shots on goal this period. Donovan. From midair, can't get it down deep. Flipped into the zone and skying one is Ferrucci. Boy, Jack, you know, it, between these games and the Danbury Hattricks game, seems like ups are now a thing as Donovan whistle at Dylan Weber going up against Max Burham. 50-50 draw goes back to uh, Rozhikowski who gets it down into the New England zone. 4.20 to go in regulation time as this gets sent all the way down the ice. Should be an icing call. There's the whistle. And the faceoff will come. Almost. In soccer, this is called time wasting. It often results in a yellow card, but the Knights get away with one. Well, they're not parking the bus yet. Nope. So <laughs> here's Nate Mistroni picking up the loose puck behind the cage. Centering pass is taken away by Jake Willis. Willis over the hat tricks rabbit at center ice into the zone. Chase Lappin, or Lapworth rather. Lost possession of the puck. Now Remsen. He'll send one off the glass. He finds Mastroni. Mastroni one-on-one -on -one with Reed. There in support is Weber. Dylan Weber in the corner. Canceled out by Reed. Mastroni there to help out. Under three to go in regulation. At the point now, Wojciechowski. D, D to D for Lefkoff. Lefkoff scores! Cut the wall. It's, uh, this game was ripped kind of out of your hands. So off the draw, six skaters on the ice for the New England Knights. Five players battling for the puck in the far corner. It comes out, not out of the zone. Good job by Delugalinski Delug to hold the line. Sharp angle attempt goes through the blue paint. Now Murphy from the point, a bouncing Oof. puck ends up in the... Off some time. Chase Lapworth on the draw now for New England. 
Colby Donovan on his knees, had the puck underneath him. Donovan still fighting for it. He comes up with it. He'll flip one down the ice. It'll go wide. Icing should be called. There's the whistle, and the faceoff will come back down into For them, keeps the same guys on the ice, and you have a chance now to try to force in a couple more attempts. Lefkoff will flip one up, but not out. Lefkoff with the puck now in his skates. This is Lapworth. Loose puck in a dangerous area. Cope can't get a handle on it. Collected by DeLugalinski for Murphy as he mostly fanned on the shot. 45 seconds to go in regulation. Danbury leads by one. Three New England players in the corner. Trying to come up with it is Burham. Gives back Murphy. His shot fought off by Fernandez. Good rising shot by Nolan Murphy. Danbury able to clear. Murphy sends it right back the other way. Here's DeLugalinski. On side are New England, but they lost possession of the puck. Here's Kiervanen with 20 seconds to go. Lefkoff in the corner. He'll try and kill as much time as possible. Donovan for McEnany. McEnany, again, just holding it against the boards. Quickly poked out of his skates. 10 seconds to go. Donovan, again, just killing the puck up against the boards. Nobody for New England taking the body. Two seconds and one, and that'll do it. The Danbury.